Thanks. Um, you had a member of the um, media academic complex beginning, a media member of the complex ending with really a uh, what journalists should do, which is to give a piece of public relations for, in this case, Democratia. And its name suggests an engagement with issues which are now very urgent. Um, and I'm not going to go over the ground which others have done, except to say that uh, one can endorse um, three talks from three different parties, Liberal Democrat, Labour and Conservative. And one can see, you know, it's a kind of tripartisan view which has come out today. Um, I've just quickly looked at, at uh, Andrew Mitchell's pamphlet, a contribution to the debate on UN reform, which for a journalist counts as deep, deep research. And <laughs> there, one, one can see there uh, three issues that he puts forward for a reform agenda. Of insistence that the Security Council approve peacekeeping missions with rules of engagement designed to protect civilians from harm, from grave harm. Challenge UN member states to increase their support for the employment and deployment rapidly of, of peacekeeping missions and enhance the peacekeeping capacities of regional organizations beginning with the African Union. Chimes in very well with what David Miliband said a few weeks ago. Uh, Alan already referred to that, his speech uh, in honor of Frank Sankuyi at, at, um, at uh, Suki at, at Oxford, where he said that we can be clear about the desirability of government by the people and clear that without hubris or sanctimony we can play a role in backing demands for democratic governments, governance and all that goes with it. There is a great deal of debate to be had about these issues. On the one hand, as we constantly rem reminded, there are great failures, or perceived failures, in Afghanistan and Iraq, certainly vast difficulties. On the other hand, we hear less about, we have to recognize, the failures of non-intervention in, in Bosnia for many years, in Rwanda, of course, in Congo, uh, and in, now in Darfur. And the as yet unfulfilled agenda, uh, of which both Alan and Andrew referred, the responsibility to protect agenda of the United Nations, which has hardly been uh, animated at all. The uh, issues set out by Tony Blair some nine years ago now in his Chicago speech. Uh, the issues that are in front of us now, in Darfur, as I said, it's in, uh, and in, in the Congo, uh, and of course in Zimbabwe. All of these issues you will find, I was going to say, in the pages of Democratia. It isn't in the pages, except it's, if you print it out, it's on the web. You don't have to buy it. It's free. Uh, you see, democratia.com, kind of thing that is, is, is destroying my, my livelihood as a print journalist. Uh, you can get for free uh, from democratia.com. And I urge you to do so, because uh, what Alan has done, it's a tremendous achievement, because it was largely one man, uh, certainly at the beginning, is to put into play the kind of um, forum for debates which all, I think, of the, the great little magazines have done for two centuries. It's expressing a certain kind, a certain point of view, which actually <coughs> runs often counter to conventional wisdom. But as we've heard today, hits the spot as far as um, uh, the argument about how democracy, democracy is to be furthered in the world. So, Briefly, because we're way over time, unsurprising with uh, with a clutch of politicians. Over to you, but uh, please don't buy Democratia. Get it online. <laughs>